Isaac and today we're going to do a bike review of my 2019 SE Big Ripper. I'm going to talk about why uh, I love this bike, why I think this solves a lot of the problems a lot of us old flatland and old freestylers uh, face when we're looking at new bikes. Um, just a great all around bike. So let's take a look. And here we have my 2019 Big Ripper. Uh, let's see, we'll start. It's a stock. Everything on this is basically a stock bike. Uh, we'll start in the front. You've got your 29 inch rims or 36 hole SE rims. Um, it comes with some SE skin wall black tires. Uh, it's got a 4130 chromoly crank landing gear. Um, shout out to Ride Out Supply. I bought some stickers from them. Uh, front of mine made this big uh, this is Santa Ripper sticker um, for obvious reasons. It's got the <clears throat> lighting seat. I don't know if that's what it's called, <laughs> but it's got a pivotal seat. So you've got there seat post, SE clamp, all the way down to a seal bottom bracket, 175 SE cranks, stock pedals, SE pegs. It's got a V brake on the back. Uh, and then my first upgrade I did on the bike was back here. It comes with a, in the front, I believe it's a 35. Back here it was a 15. So uh, <clears throat> the, the free wheel was a little bit flimsy. Um, the engagement wasn't real quick, so that was the first upgrade we did. Uh, put a 17 tooth free wheel on the back and that solved a lot of problems and it makes the bike a lot easier to pedal. One of the other upgrades I did was I put the s &M stem from my flatland bike on this. Uh, what that does is it brings your bars back from being up front, brings them back. Uh, it makes it a little bit, feel a little bit shorter, um, which for me being an old, old BMX guy, the bike feels really big. And so these are the things that I've done to try and make it feel a little bit more BMX like, uh, and it worked out really well. So if you want it, <clears throat> Shorten your bike a bit, grab a shorter stem. This one's an s and Flatland or a Redneck F or an F Redneck. I don't know what they call it, but it's a Flatland Redneck stem. Uh, and then the other thing I did is I got some more BMX style handlebars. You can see here, they are a seven inch rise instead of, uh, I believe the stock ones are six. Um, and for me, I just didn't like the feel of the handlebar. I like the more BMX style, like this, where you got more of a loop at the bottom, um, just because when I'm riding over the bike, it's just kind of what I'm used to seeing and what I like to see. So from the front, it's just a two-piece bar, old school BMX bar, Tech Pro stock lever, and I did put some new grips on because uh, I'm dainty and I like soft grips. And these Redline flight grips were super comfy. They didn't have these when I was riding, um, but when I felt them, they are super soft. And you put stickers underneath them because they're clear, so that's kind of fun. So that's my SE Big Ripper and the upgrades I've done. So now we'll talk about why I love this bike. All right, so why do I love this bike so much? Um, I've spent like, oh, I don't know, 10 years or so um, looking for a bike that was really comfortable to ride and I had all these big dreams that I was going to be a um, that I would get a flatland bike and I would ride all the time problem is I have a regular job that's nine to five not an excuse there's a lot of flatlanders that do this but for me it didn't work with my full-time job plus I'm a dad say hi Bo hi. <laughs> um, so just having time to, to spend with my kids was a little bit more important than just going and hanging out in a uh, parking lot. Like I said, I've been doing this for about 10 years. He's 12, so you can kind of do the math. Um, I didn't want to spend their childhood hanging out in the parking lot. I'm um, just trying to get good at riding a bike again. So that just wasn't a, a, a realistic idea of what getting back into riding would be. So I bought a 20 inch bike, uh, or first I bought a 24 inch bike. I uh, bought a Model C, um, and it just it wasn't great. Uh, then I bought a 20 inch flatland bike, wasn't great. Um, so I was just kind of riding around on a mountain bike um, that someone gave me and uh, 
it was just all I would do was wheelies and it was fun, but it was still kind of a mountain bike and it, geometry wasn't familiar to my, my body um, and what I remember. So um, I was just kind of looking around, saw SE, it was a brand I remember from being a kid. Saw they were making these big, big bikes and I was like, there's no way I'm buying a big bike. You can't do flatland freestyle stuff on it. Uh, and just kind of thought, well, it's cute. It's kind of a, it makes you feel good. Seeing all these old bikes that you used to ride and big versions, but um, wasn't for me. And then I rode one and it's, it is a game changer. These big bikes um, literally feel like um, Cadillac versions of the sketchy bikes that we used to ride and loved. Um, they're like the, the, the top two pipe um, or the distance is only an inch, inch and a half bigger than what you remember your bike being. Like your, maybe like some of the shorter bikes, like the Harl Masters and stuff like that that had the, the you know, 18, 19 inch top tubes. Uh, this one I believe is a 21, 22, something like that, maybe 23. Um, but what I was worried about with the distance and being stretched out, um, the geometry feels super comfortable. Maybe it, uh, it's it's got a kicked out head tube a little bit, so that feels real real similar to the our, our 87, 88, like those Haro Masters, those GTs that had the real raked out. They were like 72, um, but it's comfortable like that. Um, the bottom bracket doesn't feel like it's super high. My Model C feels like the bottom bracket's super high, um, which makes it appear to feel even taller. So this one, bottom bracket sits a, a little bit lower. Um, and it, it doesn't feel like a ginormous bike. It feels like a Cadillac. Um, the differences you'll notice, like all I do is ride around, do wheelies and stuff. Um, and they're super easy. Um, if you look at the, the rear triangle, um, the, the t where you sit and where the, the tire hits and where you're, you're pedaling in your cranks, um, that all lines up really well um, for f <laughs> physics. Oh, like, like, I don't want to get too deep into like the physics of riding a wheelie, but weight back. If your weight's back, uh, your wheel's forward, and where you're, you're generating your power in that, that uh, bottom bracket, shorter wheel, uh, weight back over behind the bottom bracket, and then your source of power up here makes it easier to pop up. Just physics. Um, if you picture it, I'm sure if you've ridden a bike, uh, that just makes sense, hopefully. Um, our 80s bikes, the difference was the, the rear triangle was a lot longer. So we would compensate for that by putting on a laid back seat post. We were sitting back. So this, the geometry that this bike just gives you um, kind of replicates the laid back seat post of what we were trying to accomplish in the 80s. And we just didn't realize what we were doing just to make those bikes comfortable. Um, you get a stretched out stem and you put your seat back, which would then give you a longer a longer feel. This bike just does it right out of the gate. So um, that's, why I that's why I believe uh, this bike feels so comfortable to so many people when you ride it. Um, so if you're looking for a new bike, if you're looking for something that, that will fit you um, and you're curious about these new big bikes, I cannot um, evangelize enough about how great they feel, how great they ride and what a game changer they are. Um, I've had this for about a month three weeks now uh, and if it's not raining I've been out riding my bike and that's not something that I've done um, probably in the last 10 years um, it was like one of those things like yeah, let's go for a bike ride um, now I'm the one that's like hey I'm gonna go for a bike ride the same way I want to go so uh, it's a great way to, to connect with your family it's a great way to enjoy the, the city and the environment that you live in uh, the weather I live in Phoenix Arizona and right now it's a it's a but it's, it's New Year's Eve 2019. We're getting ready to head into 2020. And uh, it's about 60 degrees. So it's wonderful weather out here. Um, and it's just a good way to enjoy you know, your, the world around you. Uh, we're so connected by computers and phones and video games and so many distractions that, you know, we kind of forget like the cool stuff that's around us. So um, get on your bike, get out and ride around the block. Just ride once. If you haven't ridden today, go ride. Um, touch your bike, <laughs> just sit on it, man it'll remind you of how much fun it is. And if you haven't had that experience in a while, you don't have a bike currently, um, go down to your local bike shop and, and 
uh, jump on one of these, these new school BMX big wheel. I don't even know what they're even calling it. Like, at least we have like flatland. I ride flatland or I ride ramp or I ride freestyle. Um, this one, I guess you could just say, I ride bikes, I ride wheelies. It's all that matters. So have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Go ride your bike.